identity is a concept that is dissolving. It is dissolving very quickly. And and as a conceptual framework, it was already it was already becoming weakened. Um, and it is unnecessary in society now in a way that it was functional just 20 years ago. It was a functional it was a functional and necessary part of a daily life to have like a cohesive identity The I've the very conceptual framework of identity is beginning to dissolve because people are f***ing with it so much through language, through dress, through the way that we're approaching culture, through like the nihilistic kind of energy of Gen Z and in the way that it's approaching all of these things. And I think that as the concept of identity dissolves, the concept of guilt around identity and the concept of being so concerned about your identity that you're, uh, I don't know, I just think that all of these kind of identity politics things Anytime something's this shaken up, it feels like it's in a, a, a dissolving process to me. That's my experience in 35 years is that when something feels frenetic, it's not because it's building steam. It's because it's it's because it's dying. It's because it's exhausting its last resources to try to remain viable. And I think that as identity dissolves and as like people just kind of are less concerned with you know, and as equity increases for black and brown people, which it in, in, inarguably does, right? Maybe it's not as quick as we need it to, but it's everybody's pushing, you know, it's like that's part of the good intent of a lot of the policy that happens here is creating a more equitable society for people that have been systematically disadvantaged regardless of their race or socioeconomic status, right? And so, like, I have a, my just ban single family houses. You know what Let's mean? go. Or single dude. family zoning. So Let's there you go. go. That's huge. Yeah. Right? That's there you go. Huge. good policy. So we're going to push that. And, I, and I'm and i hoping my hot take is that, and it is a hot take because so many people are so obsessed with their identity, whether it's uh, being a rich white person or a poor trans person or a black person or a brown person. It doesn't matter. Like everybody has these identity markers that they're so I'm an fucking... American, Devin. I'm an American. I'm an American. We're all Americans, Peter. <laughs> We're all Americans, and I think, and my, and my hope is this, and to bring it back to the futurist perspective, I think that AI, and I think that the way that culture is going to move like a tidal wave over the next 10 years, is going to make a lot of things that people thought were relevant today completely f***ing irrelevant 10 years from now. I think we're yes. going to be in a shockingly different reality in a decade. And yes. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope that it is the, I hope that it is the uh, the approximation of what we think would happen when we contact alien civilization, where we contact this AI, this technologically alien, you know, event, and it brings us together cohesively as a species because it's so significant to the way that we all live. But I'm a technological optimist. I'm a techno futurist, Pete. Okay, well said. <laughs> all right.